Hey boys, it's Armnad. Today we're going to be customizing the brand new BF Weevil in GTA Online. Obviously based off of a classic Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this thing. I think this, this is going to be really cool to customize. So let's hop right into it here. And we're going to start off with the armor. All the way up, of course, brakes. For the bumpers, we have front and rear bumper options for this car. So we have a bumper delete, plastic splitter, primary, secondary, carbon, no bumper and, and primary splitter, secondary, carbon, extended bull bar. Okay, interesting. Buggy bull bar, Baja bull bar, injection, chrome extended, chrome buggy, chrome Baja, chrome injection. Okay, interesting. Um, you know what? I think we're gonna go for like a uh, like a rally build on this car. Um, so we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with the injection bull bar. For the rear bumper, we can do a rear bumper delete, plastic rear bumper, injection rear cage. Oh, interesting. That's sick. Okay, buggy rear cage, Baja rear cage, uh, chrome and. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with the Baja. I like that. I think that's really cool. For the uh, engine, we're gonna go level four. For the exhaust, we have the options for chrome exhausts, big bore exhausts, upswept, central, upswept center, baby stinger, big bore stinger, upswept stinger, side stinger, mega stinger. Okay, interesting. Mega side. Um, Honestly, I'm not really a huge fan of any of them, but we're going to go with the upswept. For the fenders, we can do headlight hoods. Oh, that's cool. Wire stone guards, blackout covers, front arch extensions. Okay, I see. Carbon fenders, chopped fenders, primary chopped, carbon chopped, fender delete. Oh, wow, that's weird. And for the rear fenders, we can also do all of these options. So for the front, we're going to go with the arch extensions, I think. And for the rear, we're also going to go with the arch extensions. Um, and actually, you know what? I don't know if I like that look, honestly. Um, maybe for the front, we're going, we're going to go with the blackout covers. Kind of like that. And for the rear, we could just go with the... We're just going to go stock, honestly. I, I like that look. For the hood, we can go secondary, carbon, fog light hood. Oh, that's cool. Secondary fog light or carbon fog light. We're going to go with the fog light hood. I like that look. Hood accessories, we can go with the adventure kit. Sure, why not? I'm down for that. For the headlights, we're going to go xenon, of course. Livery, we have a few options here. We can go hot rod flames, purple flames, backyard camo. Interesting. Arid Camo, BF Cup Car, Stronzo Racing, Evil Weevil, Barn Find, Forgotten Racer, Beatnik Beater, <laughs> interesting, okay, Tide Eyed, that's sick, that's really cool, Flower Power, Peace Man, Trippy Vibes, Love Machine, okay, um, there's a lot of really cool ones, I really like the Forgotten Racer though, I think that's really cool. Um, but at the same time, I kind of want to go with something a little brighter, like maybe the tie-dye. Although I feel like everyone's probably done the tie-dye, so we're going to go with Forgotten Racer. For the plate, we're going to go yellow on black. For the respray, we'll probably keep it white, I think. Everything else looks kind of terrible, honestly, so uh, maybe, maybe we'll go matte ice white, though. That's what we'll do for the secondary and the primary. For the trim color, um, let's... Keep it black, I guess. I don't know what's going on here. Is the wait is the interior affected by the exterior? It is. Okay, that's interesting. I honestly don't like the white, so maybe we'll go with like a black actually. Let's do it. Let's go matte black. Yeah, that's that's a little bit better. Actually, for the secondary, we could go ice white though. Yeah, we're gonna go ice white for the secondary. Roll cage, we can do a half cage, a half cage with sport seats, half cage with street, cage and drift seats, drag seats, race seats, 
carbon seats. Um, we're going to go with the race seats and the cage. For the roof, we can go with a primary sunstrip. We can go with a secondary vintage rack, seaside getaway, tire rack, off-road rack. Oh, that's sick. Vintage rack and board, one, two, and three. Basic rack and board, one, two, and three. Modern rack and board, one, two, and three. That's cool. Oh, and four, actually. Um, honestly, I love the off-road rack, though. That is so cool. We're going to go with that. For these skirts, we can do basic running boards, chrome running boards, primary running boards, secondary carbon, or off-road kit. We're going to go with the off-road kit, of course, just to match up with the rest of the car. For the spoiler, we can do a primary race wing. Whoa, that's sick. Carbon race, primary drag, carbon drag, extreme arrow. Uh, we're going to go with the primary drag wing. I like that look. Suspension. We could drop it. Uh, wait. What? That's crazy. You can have like a stanced beetle. That's actually insane. Um, we're going to leave it high simply because it's a rally car. Um, we're going to go race transmission. Turbo. Turbo tuning, of course, for the wheels. Uh, let's go with some off-roads on this thing. Uh, let's go with the concave rally master my new favorites black on those tire design let's put one on why not enhancements bulletproof tires of course and the windows let's tint those all the way out actually you know what let's let's actually remove the tent okay so this is what we're working with here boys let's exit down to the ground we will do a sound test and i will give you guys my little review and uh whether or not i think you should buy this car so to start off with we're gonna do a sound test Doesn't sound all that great, um, really, but that's okay. I mean, it's a Volkswagen Beetle. I wasn't expecting it to sound like a Lamborghini or anything, so I'm not honestly disappointed. Um, the car has horrendous understeer, um, I'm noticing, but okay, and also really bad oversteer. Um, this car has a really weird balance to it. I'm wondering if all that weight on the roof actually has something to do with it. Um, I feel like the car definitely could have benefited from stiffer suspension, but it is a rally car, so I guess that's, you know, that's why it's the way it is. Um, the acceleration is actually a lot better than I was expecting. Um, the handling is about as good as I was expecting, maybe a little bit worse, actually. Um, the top speed, from what I can tell, is like alright. Um, the acceleration is good, so the top speed must be like somewhat alright. Um, so that's good. Um, yeah, this thing is really interesting. Um, I, I, I like it. I personally like it a lot. Um, I'm just trying to think if I would recommend it to you guys to buy. I believe it did cost about $800,000. Um, which is quite a lot for a car, um, that's, you know, not anything crazy, but I guess these days in GTA, 800 grand is not that much for a car, really. Um, so, you know, with all things considered with that, um, it's honestly not terrible. Um, it's, it's definitely a cool little car. Um, I love the customization you can do to it. You can make this thing rally, you can make it stanced, you can make it just a show car, whatever you want to do with it, you can do. Um, which I think is definitely really, really cool. So um, overall, I'd say if you have a lot of money, I recommend buying the car. Um, if you're a little bit a little bit more broke, if you don't have a lot of money, um, I'd say you know save your money up for something a little more useful. Um, if you don't have you know armored vehicles already, you're gonna want to get all of those before you even consider getting this thing. Um, so you know just be smart with your money, boys. Um, if you can afford it, if you have a lot of money, definitely recommend it. If not, hold off for a while at least. Think about it for a while. So, Anyway guys, I think that's pretty much it for the customization and the review. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you learned something, if you saw what you liked, uh, leave a like. If you didn't, dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, take care. Peace.